channel it's Sierra and I'm back with another self-care routine so let's hop right into it this is a nighttime routine so I'm laying out my pajamas and I'm taking these melatonin gummies from Grande Cosmetics I swear by the Grande Last Serum so I'm very excited to be trying out their new gummy line they have one for hair skin and nails as well as stress relief these are blackberry flavored and they taste like fruit snacks so it's very hard to not eat the whole bottle they taste amazing I finished the last book that I was reading in one sitting because it was just that juicy. 10 out of 10. So here's the sequel. I can't wait to get started reading this tonight. Anyways, let's hop straight into this routine. This is one of my favorites right now because it's so tropical and fruity. So I'm starting off using the Dove Mango Bar Soap. I like using a bar soap before I use a body wash, especially if I've worked out or anything because it makes my skin feel way more clean. And in my opinion, Dove makes the best soaps ever, along with Olay, but I always use Dove's bar soaps because I feel like they just do what they need to. If you have very dry skin, I wouldn't recommend doing this whole double cleansing method on your skin because it can be a little drying to cleanse twice, but I feel like it's necessary sometimes. I don't care what anybody says, the runoff from when you rinse your body is not enough to clean your legs. You need to be getting a soapy towel and cleaning your legs in the shower. Thank you. I'm gonna be exfoliating using the pineapple shea sugar scrub from Treat Hut. This smells like you just cracked open a can of pineapple chunks. This is one of my favorites for hot weather because it smells so juicy and realistic and sweet, like pineapple candy, so freaking good. And it's not too abrasive either. You can kind of tell from the texture that this one is a little softer than their other scrubs. But when you use this, the smell fills up your bathroom. It's amazing. And I like to focus this on my elbows and my knees, of course, because exfoliating helps to brighten dark areas on the skin. This is a step that I only do about three to four times a week because I don't want to over exfoliate my skin and then get dry spots. But this is always my favorite part of my routine. I love scrubbing my skin because my skin always feels extremely soft afterwards. If you are not exfoliating, you don't have any sort of scrub, I recommend picking one up or you can just use exfoliating gloves. They're easy to wash. I used to use them all the time, but I just find this to be a little more fun. Once I'm done scrubbing my skin, I'm using my body wash. This one is the Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash with raw coconut and mango. I don't get any coconut vibes in here at all. It really just smells like a sweet mango, almost like a sugary mango. And it's a gel textured body wash. It's not creamy at all. Very refreshing and it feels great on my skin. Plus this brand has a lot of really good scents. Their watermelon and mint smells like Jolly Ranchers. And you can find this at Target. I believe it was like $7 for this super huge bottle. And it's made with clean ingredients and all that good stuff, which is a huge plus. Then I'm moving on to my out of the shower body care. I'm using my favorite body serum from Topicals. It's called Slather. And this is an exfoliating body serum that has lactic acid, urea, retinol, just tightens the skin, brightens the appearance, gives you an even skin tone, all that good stuff. You really don't need to scrub in the shower and use this, but I did just because I like to. 
So once again, this is a step I only do about three to four times a week, and I definitely notice a difference in the appearance of my skin. I apply a thin layer of this serum before I put on my body lotion, and it's really one of my holy grail products if you haven't noticed. If you have tried it out, let me know what you think. I seriously believe that this product is a total game changer, especially for after you shave. If you get bumpy or prickly skin after you shave, this eliminates all of that and I am so obsessed with it. Next I'm using this Hemp's Sweet Pineapple Body Lotion. If you can't tell, I really like this lotion. It smells like pineapple candy. I always get compliments when I wear this. Sometimes I don't even wear a perfume. I literally only wear this body lotion. And I got it from TJ Maxx for like $10. You can find a bunch of Hemp's there. I could go on and on about how much I love this product. It gives your skin this wet, glossy finish and the smell lasts forever. I wish I had a lifetime supply of this because it's just that good and I love the way this pairs with a coconut perfume. Oh my god, you're gonna smell like a walking pina colada. Once I'm all lotioned up, I'm going to move on to my skincare for the night. So I'm starting off using the Kale and Green Tea Superfood Cleanser from Beauty to the People. I always use my cleansers on my Ferreo Luna 3 and this makes my skin feel like it's getting a much better and deeper clean than if I were to just use my hands. And I really like that it automatically times my cleansing for 60 seconds, which is the amount of time you should be cleansing your face. It automatically shuts off at the 60 second mark, which is very convenient. Foreo just never misses with any of their devices. I love their UFO 2 and their Bear, which is like a facial sculpting tool. After I'm done cleansing, I'm going to move on to a little face mask for tonight. I'm trying out this brand called Loops. They sent over a variety of their masks for me to try out. So tonight I'm going to use their Night Shift. This night shift mask is supposed to soothe and calm the skin, so I was really excited to try this one out. It's a sheet mask. You just leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I liked this one because it wasn't like a paper material. It was more of a jelly material. And I left it on for the amount of time it told me to. Peeled it off and my skin felt amazing. This is probably the best sheet mask I've ever tried. It stayed in place. It didn't slide all around my face like most sheet masks do. And it didn't have too much of the serum in it, which I can't stand. I don't like having a bunch of excess on my face and this gave me just the right amount to rub in. Next I'm moving on to some eye cream. This is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and it comes with this fun little applicator and I love using it just because of this applicator you guys. It gives my under eyes a cooling effect and it also de-puffs so I really like to use this in the morning as well and I use it with my other eye creams too. I don't use this to completely rub it in, I just kind of get it on there with this tool and then I pat in the rest with my fingers. Next I am following up with my moisturizer. This one is from Edom, it's called the Cloud Cushion. It has peptides, snow mushroom, niacinamide. And it helps to brighten dark spots and it's also very thick and creamy. It just makes my skin feel so moisturized without feeling heavy. Plus, this is a great one to use underneath makeup because it is a little thicker. It's not pore clogging, it's not greasy, and I love this creamy, thick, rich formula. It just sits very comfortably on my skin. I use my Grande Lash Serum, put that on real quick, and then that's it for my skincare. Now, if this were the daytime, here are the perfumes that I would put on top. This is Mango Skin from Wilhelm. I got it from Twisted Lily, and this is one of my absolute favorites for the summertime. You can tell by how much I've used it that I'm not playing around. It has ripe mango flesh, pink sugar, red wine, black currant, and frangipani. It's very tropical and just mouth-watering. I love this fragrance, and I always get compliments on it. Then there's also this body spray from Sol de Janeiro. It's the Sea and Soul. This is a bright, fun, juicy citrus. It has star fruit, pink pepper, ocean musk, violet, driftwood. This is a limited edition scent that's at Sephora, so run and get it while you can. But that's all for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!